Setting gain or input gain on your console has always been a tough job for the audio engineer. Set it too high and you run the risk of clipping. Set it too low and your EQ and your dynamics on the channel don't work the way you'd like them to. So we worked really hard to come up with an easy way to set the gain properly on your channel. Let's check it out. Setting gain on a channel for most audio guys is probably the hardest thing to do. And uh, from this screen, I wanna show you what we did to make gain setting on your inputs much, much easier. So we use the home key to go to our bank of eight channels. And we'll notice that I have this uh, channel uh, 14 highlighted, which happens to have a vocal mic in it. Let's have a look at the top of that channel. All I gotta do is double touch it and we'll open it up. You'll have a look, there is our new meter. Now you'll notice we have the old style bar graph meter that you're used to seeing here in, uh, from your uh, analog mixer, but we've got what looks a lot more like a uh, guitar tuner, if you will. We just want you one, two, one, 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 two, one, one, two, just to set the gain properly like so. We'll use the touch and turn knob, and, and of course whatever's in purple will uh, work with the touch and turn knob. You'll see that I have the gain fairly well set. But if you'll notice over here, if you're a bar graph kind of guy, you'll realize we're still 20 dB below clipping. So we have plenty of headroom. So that's what, how easy it is to set your inputs. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, go to the link below.